What's going on, my peoples? Yo, food service drivers, man. Um, I want y'all to be motivated. Motivated for, um, be motivated by the money. Um, be motivated by being able to go home every day to your family. Just be motivated that you don't got to go OTR, go over the road. And the reason I'm saying that, because at the end of the day, us food service drivers, we're not really appreciated, man. So, we got to appreciate ourselves. Because if you really think about it, <clears throat> we waking up 12 in the morning, 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. <clears throat> you got some drivers, they waking up at 11 p.m., 10 p.m., and and we doing this just to get one week out of the year where they say it's driver's depreciation. It's not easy to wake up in the morning, man. You know what I'm saying? So all the food service drivers out there, man, don't be scared or don't feel some type of way. If you want to get out there, do something for yourself, spoil yourself. You know what I'm saying? Go out on a little vacation with your family, you know? Buy what you want. <clears throat> if you want that car, buy it. Don't feel guilty. You know what I mean? Because we put in the work. We put in the work. You know what I mean? And um, one of the things you got to understand that in food service, especially in a lot of local trucking, is that <clears throat> most of the times we'll come to work. Like, for instance, let me give you an example with me, right? Like, I come to work early every single day, right? Every single day. And the one day when I was late out the whole year, I'm quick to get a point for being late. I'm quick to get a point, but nobody points out the drivers that's coming to work early every day. So guess what? I got to appreciate myself. You guys got to appreciate yourself. Because sometimes you're only going to get noticed when something's wrong. You don't really get noticed in life when something's right. You got to know that, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to know that. <clears throat> and we got to look past that. We can't let that get to our head. At the end of the day, it's just business. You know what I'm saying? So when you're getting food service, you just got to take care of your business. You know what I mean? It's just business. You just got to know that when you come into this type of job... Um, you just got to do what you got to do and go home, you know, take care of your customers. I ain't going to lie, though. A lot of these customers, they appreciate us. They appreciate that delivery. Um, they keep keep us getting paid. You know what I mean? But shout out to all the good supervisors out there, man, that understand. You know what I'm saying? In all the food service world, no matter what company you work for, shout out to all the good supervisors. <clears throat> But you got some sorry supervisors out there, man. They don't know about the pressures of a truck driver driving a truck in the rain, um, in the storm, trying to make these deliveries in traffic. And most of the times, instead of picking up the phone, calling us, being like, hey, how you doing today? You all right? Like some supervisor, they'll pick up the phone, they'll be call, call you guys, and you know what I'm saying? It's like total opposite you know what I mean but end of the day it's just business don't take it to heart um, fortunately for us we we get to work with some pretty good supervisors over where I'm at but I heard us I heard about some sorry supervisors man and some of these jobs out there you know what I mean a lot of a lot of drivers reach out to me complaining about their supervisors you feel me we don't have too many of those over here thank God you know what I mean like, and even if we did, I wouldn't even, like, they wouldn't even bother me because I just come to work and do my job. I don't got time for that. You feel me? So, food service drivers, man, just appreciate yourself. Spend your money on yourself. Take care of yourself. Just spoil yourself, man. We work hard. Work hard, play hard.